For sale is the Quadra Flex 575. If anyone remembers Pacific Stereo out of California, um, I think Anaheim. I don't. I wasn't alive. Uh, this is their house brand. They're actually really nicely made receivers. Um, sounds great. Everything works on it. I just went in, replaced the lamps for um, LEDs. There's some LED wedge lamps. This receiver has four lamps. You can see one, two, three. And the fourth one is in here, but I just don't have it secured properly against the rail, which supplies the power. Um, it's it's a it could be fixed with electrical tape, honestly, um, which is what I have on there right now. I just didn't have time to order another socket lamp. So, but the other three work, and that one works if it's connected to the rail. But uh, let's check out these sounds, eh? We'll start on AM. And I've got both speakers. I know that. Um, it's a very powerful tuner. Live on the Black Information Network. Yeah. So to help protect my listener, I'm Danny SPN Seattle. Um, there's a channel on FM. <laughs> that I have a lot of trouble getting with most receivers, but have no trouble getting with this one. Whoops, 88.5. Yeah, that, ch that channel uh, is so hard to get, and I can get it perfectly clearly with this receiver, which is cool. So right now we're on the phonograph input. Um, I don't have a phonograph hooked up. I have this uh, sound machine, but phonograph works. Obviously not the right level of input, but um, this is not a stereo signal. Um, send it all the way over there. Nice clean pots. Not going to turn that up, actually. Let's get a nice uh, stereo stereo uh, recording on, and then we can check the, um, the mono stereo switch. Make sure that's working. But this is the aux. So yeah, that, that works. Because I have some wide guitars on this song that I hear going all the way up. I don't know if you can hear it on the phone. Um, let's listen to a tape. But anyways, yeah, the Quadraflex 575, nice and clean, uh, sounding great. Right, available to you at Pete's Audio Emporium, audiofrompete.com.